Okay, once again, I am going to review a uh, Spyro game. Of course, it's been, the last couple of videos have been with Spyro 2, but I don't know, I just find that Spyro 2 has interesting things. Well, anyway, this time I'm going to show you something that is not theoretically impo like theoretically impossible. So, as we go, I'm going to start off here. Gary, I think his name's Gary. Yeah, G I think it's named Gary. The snail. Now, we all know that snails are really slow, right? They don't move very fast. They're, they're supposed to be the slowest things in the world. Well, theoretically impossible. I'm going to show you something that... Hold on. That isn't in the game. That is in Spyro and is very, very theoretically impossible. That. When... Look at the snail. When do snails move like that? Snails don't move like that. What? That is some hyper-ass snail. Seriously. Because, like, look at him. He's just, like, hopping around all over the place. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's fucking local. Look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, well. I know this is really stupid, but... Ah, oh, damn it, I fell. Hey, look, I found a gem. All right, then. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Oh, another... Oh, another gem. And you got this fucker dancing, too. Look at him. This is hard doing it one-handed once again. Look at him dancing. Who, who does that? He's, like, all happy. Like, what's so happy about... Well, why is everybody in this freaking place so happy? You got the snails hopping around. You got the freaking people in this town. We're all on crack. Yeah, everything's on crack on this freaking place. Ugh, oh, well. Well, that's all I wanted to show you once again.